to talk to you about a new product we've added onto the TVTrade.ie website, which is roof ladders manufactured by, here in Ireland by Stradbally Ladders. So you, see, you can see an example of the roof ladder here in front of me. Um, it's, it comes in two sections and it's, it's on self-locking hinges. Um, and uh, Roof ladders come in a range of sizes. Um, the po definitely the most popular one is a 20 foot uh, roof ladder. Now 17 foot, uh, foot roof ladders will suit some houses. Um, uh, 20 foot will cope with almost any house and uh, 24 foot would be an unusual ladder but you could use it we'll say for very long dormer roofs things like this okay so I'll just go through the quick design of the actual roof ladder so we'll actually just focus in on the hook part um, of the ladder here itself so the main features here is you'll see these nylon uh, wheels here these are used when we're rolling the ladder into position and the main advantage of these is it makes putting the ladder into, into position very easy and also prevents damage and scratching of the roof uh, you can see the timber t um, um, bar here which is used to uh, when we flick the ladder over it actually hooks around the apex of the roof um, and that's the basis of it where we roll the ladder into position turn it over it catches on the apex and this allows us to safely ascend the roof so the main advantages of the main reason you use your roof ladders if you have to go up and access a roof um, it, it provides a safe uh, 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 means of ascending and descending off the roof and prevents damage to the roof itself okay um, so I'll just br briefly show how to um, you know, you transport a ladder to the location where you need to use it, um, and now we, what we'll do is we'll actually open up the ladder. So what I do here is I simply open the ladder like this, and I simply lift this into position, and it automatically clicks. Now with previous versions of this ladder, you actually needed to use pins here, slot them into position, but this is a much, much better design, much simpler, much easier to use. and. Um, if you wanted to unlock the ladder, well, all you do with this particular point is just lift these levers together and it lifts up and clicks and we can fold the ladder back out. Now if we look at the roof, I'm going to demonstrate it on here. This is quite a short roof, so you, we don't need you know, a 20 foot ladder for this, but we still can use it for it. Um, so what we do is we simply pick up the ladder at this point and we're simply going to roll it into position. So from this, uh, for this particular roof, I'll probably be able to get this roof ladder fully into position from the ground. But with a larger two-story house, uh, what we normally do is we put the ladder initially, start it off on the roof, and then continue to ascend the ladder um, uh, uh, while pushing up the roof ladder, okay? So I'll just put the ladder like this, and you can see it's relatively easy step. Now, we need to keep a little bit of distance away from the, uh, the actual ladder that we have uh, up against the wall. So we simply push the ladder up into position like this. And once we've just reached the apex here, we simply flick it over and we have it in position like that, so it's quite secure, okay? Um, so just uh, this video here um, isn't meant to be a safety video, it's really an overview of the ladder itself. On the tvtrade.ie website we have an excellent document from the Health and Safety Authority advising on the safety roof of ladders. But you can just ba basically see on this, um, before I send this particular ladder here, I have just a, a ladder stop on the bottom of the... Um, uh, of the ladder. I have the ladder strapped to the wall and I also am using a standoff uh, bracket which is made by uh, Stride Valley Ladders. And what I would normally do when I send this ladder, at this point uh, you can obviously transfer over, what I would normally do at this point is I would simply come along and put on this uh, strap ratchet here uh, between the two ladders and I would simply secure this ladder uh, into this so the roof ladder would be attached both to the roof but also strapped onto this ladder which is attached to the wall and firmly secured on the ground so it makes it quite safe. Uh, but anyway, in, for this particular example here, for the example of brevity, I would simply just transfer. You can see at this point here, you're simply able to transfer over to the other ladder and by extending this ladder quite high here with good grip from the previous ladder to be able to uh, uh, move over. Now I'll show you just the final step of the process is taking down the ladder. Now you can see here, it's a relatively easy process again. Just roll down the ladder. And you can see, even though this here is one of the largest ladders in the Stradbally ladder range, it's relatively easy to carry even for one man. And what we do is we just pull the two ridges here, and now the ladder is fully put back into position and ready to be put back uh, in a shed or on your truck. So um, as you can see here, that's an overview from beginning to end of the Stradbally uh, roof ladders.